Alright guys, Chuck here once again for the CheapBastard.net and after our last video presentation we got some requests. Now the last video presentation had to do with uh, storing water to keep your freezer cooler and in case you need it for sort of an auxiliary water supply in case the shit hits the fan. Now, following up on that I got a few emails, fine Chuck, so I store 20, 40, 60, 2 liter bottles full of water, where do I put them all because I can't get them inside my fridge. No problem. We went to work on this problem right away and today we're going to deliver a solution that you can build at home for under $10. It's so simple, so easy, you can do it with basic hand tools or if you have some power hand tools laying around, you can put those to work too. So stick with us, we're going to breathe through the process and today we're going to, we're going to build the 2 liter water bottle storage tower right here on the CheapBastard.net. So let's go through the process. What you're going to need today is a couple of things. Uh, you might need to go to the store, you might have it laying on the garage. If you have a couple boards laying around, I'm talking about maybe 18 inch by 12 inch uh, boards that maybe you had left over from your kid's science project or that you just had left over from whatever odd job you did around the house. So about two 18 by 12 inch boards will do fine. Uh, you can give or take a little bit on either end. We need four wooden dowels. Uh, you don't have to go to the store and buy those big fancy wooden dowels at an arts and crafts supply store. Go to the local hardware store, buy replacement mop handles or broom handles. They go for about $2, $2.50 each. You're going to save about 75% of the price just by using those instead. And finally, a little yellow carpenter's glue laying around is what's going to put this whole project together. No pounding, no nailing, and you're going to have a great project at the end of the day. It's going to take no time at all to put together, and you're going to come out laughing in the end, and you get all these 2-liter bottles out of your way. So stay tuned. We'll take you through the process, all right? We're back outside again here, and uh, what we have is our materials. What I have is a 12-inch by 36 inch board that I'm going to rip into two. We'll have two 18 inch pieces. Before we get started, every time everyone will say it, get it through your thick head. Always have your safety glasses on. I learned the hard way once and you don't know pain until you've had a splinter in your eye. And that's something I did 23 years ago and I will never ever do it again. So we'll go ahead and we'll rip this thing down and we'll have, we're almost half the done. And we have our two 18 inch bases and I'll show you what shape this is going to take. One is going to serve as the base platform, the other one is going to serve as a mobile upper platform that's going to sandwich all the bottles in between. Now, next, we got our four broom handles here that we got at the hardware store for $2.50 each. Okay, they're, they're hardwood so they're going to hold up and they're going to be rigid and stiff because the grain of the wood is much tighter. And if you look down here at the base, I'll show you what we're going to do. Here's how all the pieces are going to come together in this project. Now that we have our square base at the bottom, we're going to bring in our dowels. Now our dowels will go roughly two on these two spots right here, sandwiching the bottles in between them, but leaving some space here at the edge so it doesn't become tippy and unstable. The corresponding other two will also go right about here, just enough to store the two bottles on the inside. And again, always keeping an extra ledge space at the, uh, at the side so that the weight of the bottles doesn't tip it to one side or the other. So let's get to work. All right, next we're going to trim off the edges here, just just outside the, uh, the metal collar here, the metal sleeve at the end of these broom handles. We'll just trim these off real quick like, and get that underway. Okay, with all of our pieces cut up, we've got our four upright dowels, we've got our top and our bottom plate. We're going to go ahead and drill through the top and the bottom plate so that they're symmetrical. We have them stacked here, one on top of the other, and so that the holes are going to line up and we don't get something that looks like the leaning tower. Even though it might look good according to the ruler, there's always some variance whenever you're working with wood. So let's go ahead and we're going to clamp these together in here, make sure everything remains true. Everything looks good, we've got all our finished edges lined up. And we'll go ahead and get to work with the drilling. Okay guys, Chuck here once again, and we're about to get out of here. 
<laughs> and we're just about finished up right now. We have all our mortises and tenons drying up under heavy wood glue. Uh, I've got everything stacked up inside here. We're going to go all the way up with it eventually when we fill up all of our water bottles. And I've got a uh, uh, five gallon bucket here with some weight to sort of distribute everything while the glue sets up and everything dries together. After that, you can either stain it, paint it. If you have leftover stain or paint out in the garage, put it to use. Total cost involved was just about just under $10, about $2.50 each just for the broom handles and everything else was just a little ingenuity and some, uh, and some finger work. Uh, took a total, uh, total time, 20 minutes in actual labor. Alright, stay tuned for the next tip right here at thecheapbastard.net.